Thank you, Brother Mike. This is a wonderful text. Consider what the mercy of the Lord has accomplished. It wasn't by might, it wasn't by, by the work of men's hands. It says, for his own name's sake, he's preserved his people. Brother Michael brought out that the main focal point is Christ himself. See, God's making, he, he's going to preserve a people does, even in spite of them. He's going to preserve a people whereby his, his chosen one can come forth. That was, a, that was a good point. That all these things, that God has not ever lost control. That all these things, that he say, look back, just, just step back and look at from his perspective. He's been in total control the whole time. Even when they thought, what's going on now? We've been brought into bondage. He's in control. The corner, the nail, the battle ball, and the oppressor, he's in control. Amen. So see, as these things apply to you, as as you as you go through your life and you see, sometimes you think, well, how, how can I see it? Can I see it? You can see it. Stand back and look at it from the perspective of God's eternal purpose. He's in control. He hasn't lost control of your circumstance at all. He's in control. What remains is for you to... Set your eyes on him to trust in the Lord with all your might. See, lean not on your own understanding and in all your ways, he'll, you'll be established. Why? Because he's in control. See, you can't, you can't, it's never wrong to trust Christ. Never wrong to trust God's going to work all things together for my good. And as you do that, it may seem silly to some people. Some people looking on may say, oh, he's going to trust God again. You'll never be wrong trusting God. Never. Now, see, these people when they're coming out of it, they're coming out now, it's going to be seen God's been in control the whole time. God and his eternal purpose are greater than our perception of them. It, it's greater. It's a, it's a great eternal purpose. As we are given grace to see them more clearly, we become more convinced we are, we are conformed from glory to glory. As you can see something, enter into what you can see and you'll be given more to see. If the Lord is not with you, Something Brother Mike, uh, Michael said, if the Lord's not with you, you cannot be a mighty man. There is, this is impossible. The flesh and blood, it can't, it can't perceive these things. It can't enter into the kingdom of heaven. It can't. If the Lord's with you, though, you are a mighty man. It's not like you should be. It beats you over the head. You better be. If you are in Christ, you're a mighty man. You're a warrior for Christ. Christ can use you in his kingdom, in other words. In other words, if God's going to get something done in his kingdom he's going to choose those who are his who are in christ jesus it may not uh the world may not perceive them as great but god perceives them as great when god's getting ready to do something that he's kept secret since the foundation of the world he's going to choose his people to do it Amen. you know you know now look think about how blessed you are in christ jesus you know that god's for you now now, that's confidence. You can wake up in the morning and say, I know God's for me. I'm going to keep my eyes on him today. He's for me. Faith has brought you to be able to understand and know God. You can actually boast. You can tell people, I, 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 I'm acquainted with the God of glory. See, I understand his eternal purpose, what he's given me to see of it. I understand it, and I, I'm walking in the spirit. And I don't fulfill the lust of the flesh. You see how strange this sounds in our environment. But this is what the man of God, the person of God, is given to be able to apprehend these things that are unseen. Christ has given you to taste of the powers of the world to come. Why? Because you're one of his. See, God's, God knows those that are his. Christ has made it possible for you to bless God. <laughs> That's an amazing thing. Amen. You. The one that used to be in darkness, but not anymore. Now you've been translated into the kingdom of his dear son, and now you're precious in his eyes. <laughs> He's actually looking forward to the time when you, when he brings you home, when you're with him, not just in a, in a by faith circumstance, in a face to face. Christ has given gifts to men. Why? In order that they might be strong. Yeah. See, stable, established. Because this brings glory to God. It brings glory to God. When people see that even in the midst of turmoil, you're established and your faith doesn't fail, it gives glory, glory to God. They say, well, what's something different about that man? 
He's able to stand even in trial. If God is going to use you as his vessel, something else Brother Mike said, he must first strengthen you. He's, he's good. It's going to have to happen, obviously. I mean, we all know. We've all experienced this. We've, we've had times in our life when if you stood, stood on your own strength, you fail. But if you are given grace to, to enter into Christ and to stand by faith, then there's not anything. What can come against you? Someone can kill you, but they can't take you out of Christ's hand. If God's going to use you, you're going to be strengthened. The old man, he can't comprehend God's eternal purpose. This is like outside of his, the circumference of his ability. He can't really, it kind of like gets foggy. We start talking about eternal purpose, the flesh sort of gets foggy. As I don't really understand. They start grasping at straws. But by faith, the new man, the new man, his only identity is with God. That's the only identity he has. He, the new man doesn't have any identity with the flesh. So much so you can say he can't sin. He's born of God. His seed remains in him. Why? Why can't Because he's of a different order. The new man is has been born of God, and so his only identity is, is with God. And so he's at his best, see, when he's fellowshipping with God through Christ Jesus. The new man cannot offend God. Well, that's quite, a, quite an ability. I mean, you, then you've been given a new man. So God's mercy, it can work wonders. Something else Brother Mike said. It can work wonders. Look what it can do. It can take a people that were forsaken, and God can say, I'm not going to, I won't even see him like that anymore. Why? His mercy, he's a merciful God. Even God's mercy is accomplishing things in people. Yeah. Even God's mercy. He's making all things new. Well, you're one of these things that God's made new. See, one of these people. And so he's bringing you and gathering you together in one. And on that day, what a blessed day that'll be. When we see the whole thing, the big picture. I mean, now we see through a glass darkly, but what we see is true. It's real. It's just we don't see the whole thing quite yet, but soon we will. We'll know even as we are known. And on that day, the mercy of the Lord. See, it's going to shine. The whole reason we're there is because God's a merciful God. Well, are there any uh, comments, Brother Jeremy?